Welcome back to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here as always. And you know what? I appreciate when you leave comments about wallets you'd like to see reviewed, especially when we get new releases that come out from some of the major vendors like Bellroy, like what we have today. We've got the Bellroy coin wallet here. And so let's get into it. We have the, I don't say typical, but the consistent packaging we get from Bellroy in uh, this kind of really heavy paper uh, case. And you know, for those who haven't seen it, it does have the sewing on the edges here, this nice lining. It all is very consistent with uh, for wallets in particular, outside of the Apex line. And if we have the wallet here, let's open this up. Let's take a look at it here. This is the coin wallet, just newly released. Bellray is always taking their analytical data and uh, creating new versions of wallets that hopefully hit a particular demographic that they're interested in and they see how these wallets perform. So this is a very typical Bellroy construction and like all Bellroy products they provide really great instructions for you to follow. Just look at a little closer here. This is the marine blue color. It's a real pretty blue color. Now, I, I like blue because I'm colorblind to really light and dark shades of red and green. Kind of like, hey, what's this? All right, this is a test, and ah, I don't know what it says. I can't see anything. It's all a mess to me. A lot of interesting things going on in this wallet here, which we will get into. Nice. Now, onto the feature review of the Bellroy Coin Wallet. On the exterior of the Bellroy Coin Wallet, we have no appreciable features. We do, however, have this really nice 3D logo of the little Bellroy owl here. I'm seeing this more and more in their wallets. So if we move this to the interior, we can see that right on the left-hand side, we have one, two, we have three card slots here. And I think these two at the top are more slits and you'll see how that functions because they don't step themselves up. Um, on the pull strap side right here, one of the typical pull straps for Bellroy, they like uh, pull, uh, pull straps, really kind of pioneered that moving forward with their, their products. So I'm gonna push that back in there. And then on the right hand side, we don't have anything underneath here. And the reason why is because we have the coin pouch here. This is magnetic in nature. And so if we open this up, we can see that we have a nice slot in here. It's uh, really nice and deep for coins. This is a rigid top. Obviously there's a, a small thin magnet here as well as here to give us that connection point. And it stays closed because of the rigidity of it. You really have to pinch this to get into the coins. Now, if we move into the billfold area, right here towards the front, we have a pocket right here. There is a, a card slot right here. Secret area, they call. And on the opposite side, on the inside, we have what would normally be kind of a coin pouch-esque place because of this flap that goes over, but it's really another coin or another a card slot right here. So card slot right here. And then of course, the interior here is for bills. This is where cash goes, and that's where you put it. And that is a quick review of the features of the Bellroy Coin Wallet. Now moving on to the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, I got seven cards in there. I utilized every slot, and I put two right back here into this pull strap area. I also got five slips of cash in there, or six slips of cash, in, and five coins in there, quarters in particular. And as you noticed, it worked with <clears throat> all the currencies, yen, all the euros, clear up to the 100 euro note. Uh, really nice. From a reasonable carry standpoint, probably three cards, six, I had seven, eight is what they say, eight plus, plus cash and coins. But that really makes your wallet very thick. As you noticed with that in there, uh, it measured one inch in its thickness here. It, it really makes it big. Now, from a quality perspective, it is designed in Australia and made in India. Likely, that's where most Bellroy products are made. 
their wallets in particular. Now, the interior of this is what's really interesting. Let's take a look. Unlike their other wallets, the lining in this particular wallet is feels very, very sturdy. What, what it is though, is it's 100% recycled uh, PET or PET plastic bottles. So it's a recycled material they're using in here. And what makes this really kind of interesting, let's get a light in here, is that it has a lot of frictionless frictionless capabilities to it. And what I mean by that is that uh, cash and cards, they come in and out of this really easy. So that makes uh, insertion and extraction really nice. And the fact that it's recycled is another real plus for this. The leather is from environmentally certified vendors. And you know, for all Bellroy products, it's usually very slim cut. And it really is to accommodate all the features you see in Bellroy products. Bellroy products have a ton of features compared to others. And because of that, the cut of the leather really needs to be thinner than usual here. And so there are concerns about whether it is as durable uh, as it should be or longevity. Um, it's really on, I see both sides of the argument on this, but the fact is, is they have to do this in order to make it uh, capable of all the features they put in. Now they indicate that it's RFID. I, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. But they and every other quality leather maker out there would stop putting in RFID material if everybody realized that it's just a dead thing. So now let's look at the edges on here. They are a rolled edge and then sewn. There's no uh, appreciable edge treatment here other than the leather being rolled over. And you can see that uh, we, it does roll here, but in most wallets, the Bellroy, they, the, the leather actually comes up here in the bottom and it's only on the sides that it's typically sewn, which, which is okay. It's, it is a, you know, one of a common type of uh, wallet manufacturing technique, especially with very thin leather. Otherwise, you couldn't have an exposed edge because it's too flimsy due to the cut. As I mentioned, let's uh, take a quick look at the strap here, get an idea of what we're looking at. And before I get into other details of the pull strap, I want to take a look right there. Underneath the strap itself is really a guideline, and it actually falls right back into the liner. It's right there underneath the pull strap, if you can see it. And on both sides of it, there's leather, but underneath of it is really this this channel that the pull strap rests within. Now the pull strap itself is leather and it does have a very secure uh, point foundation here into the back of this uh, wallet. But these this guide channel here is just, again, problem. this one's problematic because it actually uh, begins to tear. I pulled on it just a little bit and you can see that it's beginning to tear there. So the thinness of the leather really is a, a detriment to the wallet at this point because it didn't take much pressure for me to, to start that tear. And over time, I'm sure through the friction of this, thousands of pulls, you might start seeing this, you might start seeing the same thing, maybe not. So whether it completely breaks over time, I don't know, it just seems to be a weak point of the wallet. Now it's priced at $99, and from a usability perspective, it surprises some, you know, in the community, our Walletopians, that we still have wallets that can carry coins. But if you have lived or have traveled outside the United States, you know that coins are used very heavily, every day, all the time. Now let's look at the coin slot here really quick. Now the strength of this magnet here really is impressive because it's just enough to keep it down without being so strong that it's hard to open or so weak that it just opens up on its own. I really, really like that. And the firmness is really what you'd, you'd expect. This attachment bar that I mentioned is nice and firm here and so firm that really even if this is open, it's hard for coins to come out. They just will not have an easy task of coming out. In order to do that, you really need to pinch this and then turn it upside down to get your coins to come out, but here's a problem that I found. Quite often we'll see that the coins get caught up on this lip here and you really have to turn it upside down to get past that to get your coins out. Measurements on this is 4 by 3.75 by 0.48 and it weighs 61 grams. Now we've reviewed almost every wallet from Bellroy that they've ever had and they do have a consistent delivery with their design and the materials they use. Quality has been good in general, but we have received some questionable leather over time. They have a three-year warranty on their products for defects and materials, and they are, as I've mentioned, a certified B Corporation. They meet high standards of verified social and environmental performance, public transparency in what they do, and legal accountability. They really try and balance profits and purpose. They're based in Australia, as we know, and they've been founded since 2010. Now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of three, usability of three, and perception of four. That gives us a score of 35 out of 50. As always, if you want to see all the rankings, go to walletopia.info slash rankings or hit the little button up here. That'll take you there too. Keep sending us wallets. I've got several hundred in the inventory and over a hundred to buy. So you guys are awesome. We appreciate you watching today and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.